You too, man. Welcome back to another video, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I will be showing you how to overclock your controller, like all these other pro controller players be doing. You know what I'm saying? I will be showing you how to overclock. You know what I'm saying? And the download link will be in the description. Uh, and once you download it, you wanna extract it to your desktop and then just open it. That's all you gotta do. When I overclock my controller, when I first did it, bro, I'm telling you, you made a difference. And I will be showing you how to overclock it right now. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, bro, I'm actually like on me building non-claw, bro. I swear it gave me like less input delay. I'm telling you. So look, want to get right to it right now. All right, YouTube. Once you make it to your desktop and you extract this your folder for the file to your desktop, all you want to do is click on it. Once you click on it, you will see this driver folder. You want to. Click on the driver folder and then you want to click setup. If that little thing pops up, you want to just run it anyway. It's not a virus or anything. So then after that, you want to click the drop down menu button. You want to go to all. And you want to select your controller. If you have a PlayStation 5 controller, it's going to be a six like this. So I got a PlayStation 5. I'm going to click my controller. It's going to be highlighted blue. Once you do this, go to select rate. You want to go to the highest as you can. Mine is 8,000. Some may be it. just 1,000. After that, you want to go to, you want to click filter on, click yes. I didn't click yes. You just go to install service. And I seen when I was first download this, I was, you know, trying to look it up, make sure I was doing everything right. Once you unplug in controller and then later on, you try to plug it back in. If it don't work, all you got to do before you unplug it, you just got to do this right here you want to uncheck this once you uncheck it do restart once it restart good your controller will be should come back on everything be working and one thing i do i use too i'm gonna show you is ds for windows i will have the download link in the description so yeah gonna be it for the video i hope that helps y'all hope you know for me i felt quicker after i done it that's just me personally everybody's different and so i hope y'all boys and good girls enjoy i hope this helped y'all and i love y'all and i'm out Peace.